Are you awake? Ninja sources in the description below. Here's the data on the variants and we see the purple here is the Delta or Indian variant and we see from early April it has absolutely dominated all the cases in the UK. So it was 10% already in mid-April, it was 50% of the cases in early May and 75% by mid-May and now it's pretty much nearly all of them, 90%. So if this is a problematic dangerous variant it would already have caused in the past month or two enormous impacts, right? Well, let's look. Here's government data just taken. Goes right up to 17th of June. You can look it up. This is all government data. And you can see the hospitalization impact. We'll add in a green trend line. We're going to use this in a moment and we'll superimpose it over the variant graph. So back to our variant graph. Purple is the Delta or Indian variant and it's obviously taken over over the past couple of months in the UK. And we'll add in our hospitalization, real world impact of SARS-CoV-2. And here's the line. And you'll notice that as this variant took over completely over a couple of months, effectively nothing happened, the real world impact or hospitalizations. And this is clear as day. And be under no mistake, guys, this is not a projection, it's not modeling, it's not hypothesizing, it's not estimating. This is a de facto proof, an empirical proof, that the variant doesn't add up to anything much at all in terms of real world impact. So there you go. Now you know. The mainstream media are mindful your face. The pandemic should have ended a year ago, downloaded for their report.